with Indianapolis Indians outfielder Jim Rushford. Jimmy, you've had an excellent season. Congratulations on that and your first year at AAA ball. Thanks a lot. I'm uh, really happy with how this year uh, has went. Um, I, you know, I had no idea what to expect coming in. Uh, some things were a lot tougher than I expected, uh, but overall I'm pretty happy. You mentioned some things are tougher and you started the year in double A, did well there, did well there last year as well. What about what was difficult for you adjusting to triple A ball? Well, uh, first of all, defense is a tougher, especially in the outfield. They, you know, run down your balls and the gaps and things like that. And the pitchers, uh, they don't let up. They're always trying to hit their spots, even sometimes, you know, 3-0, 3-1, 2-0. You know, they don't throw right down the middle. And so uh, makes it, you know, it's a lot more challenging, that's for sure. So you're making the point, I guess, that you get fewer good pitches to hit at this level. Uh, definitely. It's, it's, it's a noticeable amount. I mean, the, the game's basically the same, but everything's that much better and just makes it that much tougher. Jim, let's talk about your story because it's truly terrific. You're signing a professional contract and the fact that you were away from the game for a few years. Yeah, uh, I was undrafted out of San Diego State and uh, took the, uh, played a year in independent ball and then actually took two years off from baseball thinking I'd pursue other interests and kind of move on with my life, that sort of thing. And uh, I just missed it a lot and uh, felt that, you know, I had unfinished business uh, with baseball. And so I got back into the independent league, just trying to do a thing or two, uh, just to prove a thing or two to myself, that sort of thing. And uh, it progressed and went well. And I was, you know, lucky enough to get picked up by the Brewers last year. What did you do during those two years you were away from baseball? Well, I was personal trainer at a gym. I worked for a moving company. I was a, a bouncer, a bus boy, and a pizza delivery man, and probably a few other things here and there. Just a lot of odd jobs. So you did a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah, and uh, pretty, you know, found out that uh, the, the working world wasn't all that, and uh, figured I was still young enough to you know, play baseball a little longer, and uh, I'm glad I did. And here you are knocking on the door of going to the major leagues. Did you, when you decided to get back in the game, think you could make it to AAA, the big leagues, or what, were your, what was your mindset? Well, you know, it's probably just something I kept in the back of my head, but uh, I realized the odds were, you know, are, were working so much against me that, you know, it was... It was just it was just something that maybe I dream about at night. Uh, I was just concentrating on you know trying to do go good jobs for the team I was on at that time and you know prove myself in the league I was in at that time. You mentioned proving yourself in the league you were in at that time, and every league you've been in, you've proved yourself that you can hit. Well, you know, I mean that's you know been a goal of mine. Just because uh, I know if I am going to advance, I can't you know, sit and run with the pack and, right. you know, do, just do me, a mediocre job. Uh, you know, I, I, with me, you know, time is precious. I, I have to keep showing that I, you know, need uh, a new challenge and I'm, I'm worthy of being brought up to a, the next level. Jim, I thank you. Congratulations on what's been a great season for you. Thanks a lot, Howard. Okay, that's Jim Rushford. We'll be back with